A lot of people are worried about their memory that shouldn't be. A lot of people are worried about their memory for the wrong reasons. And a lot of people think that they have memory problems when they don't. And a neuropsychological evaluation is a good way of understanding strengths and weaknesses that you might have and how, how those can manifest in day-to-day -day life. I'm Dr. Chris Contardo. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist at Psychiatric and Psychological Specialties in St. Joseph's, Michigan. Neuropsychology is the study of brain behavior relationships. So it's really about, you know, if you have an illness or if you've had a stroke or if something has happened to you, how has that illness affected your ability to think, act, and feel? And when we look at somebody's cognition, we look at their behavior, we look at their emotional functioning, by assessing those things or by, uh, by getting a sense for how those things are working in somebody, we can get clues into how their brain is working and we can get clues into how things have affected them. After you've had an illness or after you've had an injury, you still have to go on living. Sometimes it can be difficult to pick the pieces up cognitively. Are you able to go back to work? How fast can you go back to work? Are you able to live by yourself? And there can be an emotional impact from neurological illness, not only because of the injury itself, but also because of how you feel about that injury and how it, how it affects how you feel about yourself. A neuropsychological evaluation can be a valuable piece in the early identification of pathological changes in the brain and can be a valuable tool in helping providers and families plan for changes that may take place in the future. We can make treatment recommendations that can help people avoid some of the common problems that are associated with decreased cognitive functioning as they get older. One of the most common reasons for people to experience memory concerns or to experience failing memory is not necessarily Alzheimer's disease, but there's a lot of medical factors and illnesses that can impact the health of your brain, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, sleep apnea, and other things that we don't normally think about as affecting our brain, but they are a very common reason why people experience memory problems as they get older. It's a good idea to come in and get a neuropsychological evaluation, not only if you're noticing that you're forgetting things, but if you're starting to struggle with things that you do every day, if you're starting to struggle with remembering to take your medication, if you're having difficulty paying the bills, managing things in your house, if you have concerns about if you're driving safely, if you're making bad decisions. So everybody forgets things. You know, nobody's memory is perfect. It's really a good idea to get an assessment if there's more going on than just forgetting things day to day.